Hey folks, welcome to Black Gumbo. Hey, it's time to harvest some stuff and take care of some chores in the garden. Come and spend some time with me today. Okay, so over the course of the last few days, a lot's been going on. I've been doing lots of little tasks and little things that don't constitute one video. One of those is I harvested some zucchini the other day. Uh, I built this trellis system here that is uh, pretty much a, a kind of a cheap found material trellis for my beans here and I've just done a lot of little things and I wanted to kind of put them all together into a, a garden chore video. So let's go see some things. Here you can see that I've just woven together bamboo and some pear tree suckers that I trimmed off to give my vines here something to climb up on and once these vines get in here they'll provide some some additional structural support but really it's just a it's just like a basket a wall woven together cucumbers need to be trellised soon and uh, we'll be taking care of that those are my zucchini plants over there and they've got fruit on them so let's go get some you harvest the zucchini when it's at the size you like if you, you get a big gigantic zucchini sometimes they get a little tough a little bitter but um, once they start coming in you start getting real excited about zucchini and think wow man I'm gonna be eating some some food um, let them get where they're glossy and about the size you see when you go to the market and that's when you want to harvest them maybe even a little smaller when they're a little smaller they're a little more tender not as many seeds uh, I'm gonna make a fritter tonight so I'm gonna harvest some zucchinis now down here I have this nice zucchini right here you might wonder about this one and say hey man I've got blossom end rot what's going on here I've got plenty of calcium in the soil my soil is healthy don't worry about that that is simply a female fruit that did not get pollinated while this one is a female fruit that did get pollinated oops I just broke that in line so um, you don't worry about that that's not a problem I have squash grows is the flowers come out and you've got two different kinds you have this which is a male flower and you know it's a male flower because there's no fruit behind the flower on a female flower however you'll notice like this guy right here this 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 girl right here there's a fruit right there and a flower and what will happen is that flower will get pollinated and you'll end up with something like this. If it gets pollinated, you'll see it grow and mature like these two guys, these two girls right here. So you need both flowers. Reiterate again, if you see this, this is not blossom end rot like you would find on a tomato. The blossom was there, it's brown, it looks like blossom end rot and you might freak out. This is just a, a, a female flower that did not get pollinated. Things didn't happen at the right time, the male flowers didn't come out at the right time, whatever. But this did not get pollinated, and you just pull it off. So I'm just going to try to go in here where you can see me, and I'm going to snip this guy off right there. There we go, look at that. That is our first Mexican gray squash of the year. Yeah, there's a lot of them down in here. Most of them are kind of small. But there's a few that I want to harvest because I want to eat some squash. Now that's tiny, that's a little small, but I need some squash, so I'm going to harvest that one. I've got a ton of them coming in in here. It is the size I want to harvest. That's about the size I like. That's perfect. Look at that. Awesome. All right, so I've harvested three tiny little zucchinis because I couldn't wait. This one, I probably, this little one here, I probably could have waited a little longer. It's uh, smaller than the others, but I need some zucchini for my fritters. And these two are about the size I like to harvest them at. They're tender, they're young, they're glossy, and you can see they're nice and firm. And these will keep in the refrigerator for up to a week. If you put them in your crisper, in a plastic bag, leave the bag a little bit open at one end, and they'll keep for a week, and that way you can wait for some of your others to come in, and you can uh, save them up as they go. There's going to come a time on those plants, if the borers don't get them first, that I'll have so much of this stuff, I won't know what to do with them all. And so I'm, I'm researching different ways to eat this stuff and make good food. So, harvesting your squash can start at any point when they are uh, plump and, and firm. Check out my onions. I noticed that the onions are turning brown on their tips and a lot of the onions were flopping over and well that's the classic sign that you need to harvest your onions these onions have been here since the uh, since the fall and they've been growing well and they've been doing well and I noticed them a few weeks ago starting to bulb up some of these certainly have not bulbed up 
but are starting to look stressed out. Some of them have bulbed up quite nicely, but not as much as I wanted. And I think that might just be a timing issue. So you just want to dig down and see what your onions are looking like under there. I'm going to let these go a little longer. But I did pull some out. Here are my onions I harvested today. They're about tennis ball size, but they're not bulbed up like I would like them. But, you know, if this is all I get this year, I'm, I'm going to be happy with that. Because there's a lot of them, they'll store well, and I can use them. I love onions. So, yeah, one, two, three, four, five Texas Legends and one Creole that is not even bulbed up as much as it ought to be. But these started wilting, they laid down, and I think time's up on these guys. Another task I've done is I've taken those, those uh, dried turnips that had gone to seed. I let them bolt and go to seed. I've taken the seeds out of some of the pods. I selected three or four pods there and took seeds out, mixed them all together to get a kind of an average. And I've done a germination test. What I did is I took a little baggie, I put some moist paper towel in there, I put the seeds in and a known number of seeds. And I watched them over the course of a few days to see if I have viable seed. Otherwise, it's not worth my time to go and take all the seeds out of those little pods and, and you know, separate the chaff from the seeds. Uh, it's just not worth planting and all that. But I like that variety and I want to grow some next year, so I'm going to save seed. So let's see how the test went. Okay, you can see that my turnip seeds are sprouting. And I'm going to carefully open this up and count the germination rate. I believe it's 100%. I think I see maybe one in there that did not sprout. At the, at the very most conservative, I can say that is a successful germination rate. So I will keep seeds from my plant. Up. I see that even that little guy right there has germinated. He just didn't thrive. That one right there did not germinate. That one did germinate. That's this plant right here. And that one up there did not germinate. So we have, well, maybe that's just, that's just a husk. So we did get a germination out of that one. Maybe this is a husk. Yeah, that's a husk too. Wow. The ones I didn't think germinated are just the husks of seeds that did germinate. And we have little sprouts here now to go along. My dirty fingernails, gardener's fingernails. Look at that. Awesome. So my seeds have been very successful. I'm going to say that's like a... Let, let's, let's, let's assume that one or two didn't go. So we're going to say a 98% germination rate. So my saved seed is a success. I wanted to show you some pepper plants here. These guys are from last year and they've been in this, this, this pepper plant's been here uh, at least since last year. See that lizard there? Uh, this pepper plant's putting on a lot of fruit, even though it looks pretty gnarled. There's a bunch of peppers down in there. Uh, what I did was once the, the freeze and frost had knocked this back a bit, I trimmed it back. I pruned it down uh, about half and you can see it started pushing out new growth. The leaf miners are, are really bad this year, but this uh, pepper will produce all through this year. I've got another one. Let's go look at that. This is last year's jalapeno. I'm sorry. This is, yeah, this is a jalapeno. Is it? I don't remember now. This is either a cayenne or a jalapeno. And I trimmed it back, you can see. And all this is new growth. So you can do that each year. And your pepper plants, if they make it through the winter, or if you bring them in and you just knock them back and they'll push out new growth like that. Lasagna garden here. Perhaps you saw that I plugged in a, a whole big branch off of a tomato plant that I pruned. And most of it's not gonna make it, but you can see some of that branch down there put out roots and it's sending up new growth. So that's how you can propagate tomatoes, especially from your trimmings, and just stick them. I mean, this, this space isn't doing much for me right now. I'm waiting for it to compost down. But tomatoes will often grow in compost, but you can see eggplant doesn't like the compost. It's, uh, it's not going to thrive. But the tomatoes back here might do okay. You can see the, the slips are coming on with roots, and we'll be able to break those off. I anticipate maybe a week or two. We'll be able to break those off with some roots, and then grow out some more roots in the water. You see all those roots down in there. I also ordered some sweet potato slips from Gurney's and it took a seven day trial to get these sad looking things to my house. Seven days in a box in the heat and some of them just arrived looking kind of dead. Now I put them in water 
I'm hopeful that they will survive. They've perked up a lot since yesterday, but clearly some of these are going to die off. But we'll get enough out of there. You can see new shoots coming on. We'll grow these out until they're nice and healthy and plant these. I've got an O. Henry, and it's a white one. And this is a uh, Murasaki. It's a purple one. But yeah, the slips are doing well sitting in here in my garage. Zucchini fritters, ready to taste. Mmm. My soul and body. That's good food. Hey, thank you for joining me on Black Umbo Southern Gardening. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Man, we're about to hit 40,000 subscribers. I'm just blown away. I'm humbled. Thank you all. Uh, follow us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. There's a little day of miscellaneous stuff from our garden and from the kitchen. So. Happy gardening to you. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.